Hi, my name is Gail. I'm a wedding and portrait photographer. Hi, my name is Jay and I'm a photographer for Wanderlust Creatives. We are doing a fashion shoot but it's bridal inspired. We are working with um, a really great designer, LA based designer and um, it's, uh, it's, it has a very spring vibe. Uh, we're doing a lot of pastels and colors. Our approach is more fashion, but we always say that to make something more bridal, just add flowers to it. it. Makes it more romantic. We've been doing this professionally for about four years now. Um, we pretty much started when our friends, musician friends mostly, asked us to photograph them for their headshots or photograph them in their events. And then we started getting inquiries regarding covering events, covering weddings. So that's pretty much how we started. And since then, we've been um, shooting all around LA, the country, um, outside the country as well, and um, mainly doing weddings. But a lot of our inspiration comes from shooting portraits and fashion as well. For wedding shoots, um, I use an icon and my favorite lens is the prime lens and also the 70 to 200. One thing that really inspires me about photography is the idea that you get to capture a certain moment and tell the story about it, especially with weddings. Um, you know, with weddings, everything happens so fast and pretty much if, a, if you're with a couple, I mean, if you're a couple and um, you just see it as it is, but photographers will actually be able to capture everything else that happens there and to just be able to share that story in a photo to the couple and make them remember, that's like our goal. Uh, wedding photographer, uh, I really like Mango Red. Um, they are a Philippine-based wedding photographer and <clears throat> I like their style. It's very eclectic and very edgy. Um, our style is very dramatic, I would say. With photos, we like to show mood. We like the moody feel. We like um, shadows. We like contrast in our photos. Um, we like pops of color, even though there's still some shadows in them. And we love photographing details. Um, well, one of the mistakes that uh, we did is not getting to know your clients and because I, I now we make sure that we know them and they know our style so in the end it would be satisfying for both. There's this thing called fake it till you make it and there's some truth to it you know you don't keep you keep the drama to yourself you don't tell everyone about the negative um, parts of your job any job you know your work but I think being genuine about your artwork, like being showing your true self through your work and also to the people you meet is very important in this day. You know, kindness is the new cool. I really believe that. So and another advice, you know, to anyone who's trying to build a business, um, you know, it photography, although a lot of it is creativity and art, it's still a business and you still wanna grow it. Um, we started in 2014 and we really didn't feel the break until like three years after and we're still working towards a certain goal. So give it a few years, give it at least five years I would say to see if it's something really for you. Um, the growth is always exponential I think in anything, especially in business.